Hi, um, so this is for, for the forum. Um, I know a um, few people are quite interested in these um, stay put in uh, communicators. So this is a Star Trek 3 communicator. A few people have been following my pictures uh, online and thought I'd actually show you how to uh, see it in the flesh. It's really a um, superb kit, but a bit of a learning lesson for me. It's a long time since I've built kits. I had to um, work out all the stuff. The brass, as you can see, um, is from Federation Surplus. Uh, this is just uh, the, the plate that it comes with. Um, I've got a brass one on order, but um, we're now sort of three weeks into it and it still hasn't turned up, but I'm in the UK, so it might be um, just because it has to come international. So here it is. Um, uh, let me flip it for you, as you can see. Oops. So, as you can see, it's um, blue. Uh, it took me a while to work out the colour of the paint. Uh, I think my blue is slightly darker than it should be, but I actually quite like this tint. Um, I have real problems um, getting the black paint to settle. Um, I um, initially tried plastic coat, which is what the recommendation. Uh, but I just couldn't get it to settle. I'd leave it three or four days and it would still be um, soft. So uh, I actually ended up going back to automotive um, paint um, and that kind of worked well. Um, took me two or three attempts, lots of sanding, um, but uh, the secret was to lacquer um, the paint immediately afterwards and that created uh, quite a nice um, protection around the paintwork. So uh, that was my secret, my long learning lesson um, and probably the reason why it's taken me so long to produce it. So um, let me uh, close it again and as you can see um, the work is great. I'm really pleased with it. Um, so, so yeah, just to flip Someone was complaining about the loudness of it, but I actually thought it was fine. Um, kind of does the job. Um, kind of now thinking about the Star Trek V one, but um, we'll see. Um, but for the moment, I'm just kind of pleased with it. I've got some inside pictures we're going to show you. Um, the um, the reed switch wasn't as difficult as I was expecting it to be. Uh, if you go on the Federation surplus, they actually give you a really good um, download that shows you how to put it all together. Uh, and as long as you place everything as they kind of recommend, uh, it works. Um, you just got to ensure that the pole in the middle um, aligns, uh, which has a magnet in it, aligns with the reed switch. Um, and you can kind of set where it beeps off. So I've, I've set mine right near the back. So you kind of see, uh, if you open it here, it kind of will eventually twist, go off. So I've set mine quite, quite near the end. Uh, but obviously you, you, you can set it wherever you want. Um, I had to grind the LED um, down they were quite um quite deep uh and it just wouldn't fit in the body so i ended up uh, with a bit of sort of careful grinding them down and getting to the right sort of um, uh, shape and then put them straight into the or uh, glued them straight onto the lenses and that kind of worked um so other than that pretty happy with it um like i said big learning lesson uh tempted to do the star trek fly one only because i've um sort of got I think I got the technique down uh, and the painting was for me the biggest issue. Um, just one thing there, you can see there's a slight mark there. That's where the screw came through. Um, the, the, um, the holding screws inside started to reappear. So I'm gonna have to be careful, my mistake, silly thing I'm sure. You guys are a lot smarter than I am uh, and we'll avoid that. But for my first attempt, I'm quite pleased really. Um, so yeah, I'll, I've got some stills, have a look at them. Um, and uh, I'm really interested to see um, what every, everyone else does, especially the five, because that's definitely probably what I'm going to head to do next. So um, uh, thanks for watching. See you soon.